Hey everyone, welcome to the show today. We're going to talk about something a little different, and that is single malt, not scotch, single malt whiskey from the Blue Ridge Distillery in Bostick, North Carolina. So stick around. So today we're going to talk about something a little different than what I usually talk about. I'm not talking about bourbon or Tennessee whiskey, but I'm not talking about scotch either or Canadian whiskey. I'm talking about Defiant American Single Malt Whiskey, and this is not to be confused with scotch. It tastes different than scotch. They don't do anything with peating the barley or the malt I'm not quite sure what's involved with making scotch but when I think of peat I think of peat moss do they usually do something with that on that on there anyway we're gonna talk a little bit about this they also make a hundred percent rye whiskey so this rye is not cut with bourbon or any other type of whiskey it's a hundred percent rye and I did sample each of these at the distillery when I visited I really like them and uh, I have had a little drink of this here at home so this is not a first taste. So now let's take a little virtual tour of the Blue Ridge Distillery operation where they produce Defiant Single Malt Whiskey and 100% Rye Whiskey. After having breakfast at the Country Diner in Marion, North Carolina, we set out about 20 minutes or so to check out the Blue Ridge Distillery in Bostick. It's a good thing we googled some reviews first, or else we would have gotten lost. Red Butt Lane is literally like going down someone's driveway. And when we got to the distillery, we thought we were in the wrong place. But just look at that view! The distillery is like something set up in someone's outbuilding on the property they purchased. And that's not bad. It's actually inspiring. It's a very nondescript looking place. Now this is a closer look outside. That big cube is from what I understand what they use to age the whiskey. They don't use barrels to age the stuff. More on that in a bit, but remember those cubes. Now from their website, this is what they make their whiskey from. It says, we only use four ingredients, nothing more, nothing less. Premium American white oak, toasted to perfection. Specially cultured yeast selected by Tim, the founder and owner. Two row premium brewer's barley, pure water from the Blue Ridge Mountains. That big thing in the middle is the still with tanks holding the raw liquor in the back. Here's another view of the distillery. This is a real micro distillery. Take it from me, the only other parts to this place is the gift shop and a single serve restroom. You don't get more mom and pop than this. When the raw liquor is ready to age, they put it into those cube tanks and then they put these toasted oak spirals into the tank. These spirals are from the cores of the trees rather than the outside layers that barrels are made of. The thought is that there is more oak surface mingling with the liquor so it matures faster and takes on a nutty woody flavor that you just can't get in an oak barrel. Now at the distillery, I think I paid about $42 a bottle uh, for the single malt. I think the rye was $60. So I got two of these, one of these. I have not opened the rye yet. I'm going to save that for a special day or maybe just a future video where I'm going to compare different ryes. But um, what do I do with my glass? Oh, here's my glass. So we're going to, let me just open this, pour a little bit, 
and I'm also going to show you these uh, spirals. So they sell the spirals. You saw the bag in that slideshow. This is a bag of the spirals. There's a bunch of them in here, <clears throat> and they sell these at their at their gift shop for 15 bucks for a bag of them, and they say that you can use it to to smoke meats or use it, you know, on your barbecue. But this has been sitting down here in my den for the last month and a half or so. Well, let's say month. And the whole house is smelling like the distillery, which is really good. And uh, it, it really not only is fragrant, but I'm, I'm looking forward to using it in a couple of different ways. I'll show you one way to, uh, today. I'm going to do something with it, but... Here's the single malt, nice amber color. And it's smooth. You know, I'm so used to smelling this bag of spirals that to me, this tastes <laughs> like the bag of spirals, which is good. It's got a nice toasted oak flavor a little bit of like a nutty overtone or undertone to it and it is really good it's a uh, it's a bit of to me it's a bit of a sophisticated whiskey I like that a lot the rye man I've had I haven't had a lot of rye in the past I've had bullet rye and then there's a distillery in Pompton Plains New Jersey that sells, I think their brand name is um, like Mr. Peabody, and that rye wasn't very good. But this has a real, real nice nutty, spicy rye flavor to it. So that's my extra special occasion stuff. So this, uh, the the single malt, they age, I think, three to six months. So, I'm going to, I'm going to have, an, I don't know why, I, every video I, I smell, I don't have a very good sense of smell. Go figure, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's a Jersey accent because I'm from Jersey. But, we're going to do something. And I'm sorry, Mr. Tim Ferriss, the uh, founder of the Blue Ridge Distillery, going to take standard mason jar I'm going to take one of these spirals let's break it put a three in there <clears throat> and let's take the single malt and let's you know what I'm going to do label side out and we are going to pour into here into the mason jar I'm saying it like I'm a magician or something there's I mean there's no magic trick involved <laughs> we're going to put the lid on the mason jar and we're going to let this mason jar with the single malt whiskey and the spirals sit so today is august 22nd 2021 this is why i'm shooting this video i'll label it and six months from now it is october november december january february march no september all right everyone I'm going to step in here because David's a little bit off right now. Maybe this defiant single malt is a little bit too much for his poor little head. So he's going to check back from time to time and see how this stuff is aging in that mason jar. And he'll report back to you when he does that, alright? Alright, now back to David. Take it away. So anyway, that's uh, that's a bit about Defiant today. I really, really like this stuff. <clears throat> and um, I'm only doing this just to see how it affects the taste, if it makes it taste a bit stronger. 
um, if it a makes it age more, uh, because these are spent spirals. So I don't know if they're even if they've even outlived their their usefulness. But you know, it's fun to try it and experiment. And I'm going to be doing this with a few other whiskeys that I have. So hey, let's have some fun with it. So anyway, that's it for today. And always remember, in the immortal words of... Who are we going to have today? In the immortal words of... Bob Dylan. Let's hear from Bob Dylan today, alright? Everybody must drink the fine whiskey! You know guys, help me to help you. Alright, hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if there's any whiskey that you want me to review, please leave that in the comments below. Thanks for watching.